Have you ever driven past a construction site and noticed that almost every piece of heavy machinery, from bulldozers and excavators to cranes and backhoes, is painted the same bright yellow color? It's not a coincidence. In fact, it's so consistent across the world that you might start to wonder, why are all construction vehicles yellow? Is it just tradition? Or is there a deeper reason behind this uniform color choice? In today's video, we're digging into the history, psychology, and safety reasons behind why yellow dominates the world of construction equipment. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with visibility, arguably the most practical reason. Construction sites are high-risk environments. There's a constant buzz of activity with machinery moving in all directions, people on foot navigating between obstacles, and visibility often reduced due to dust, debris, and even bad weather. In such conditions, having highly visible equipment isn't just helpful, it's critical. Yellow, particularly the bright or safety yellow hue used on most machines, is one of the most easily noticeable colors to the human eye. It stands out against nearly every background, especially the earthy tones of construction zones like dirt, sand, gravel, and concrete. Whether it's under the blazing sun or in foggy weather, yellow ensures that operators, workers, and even pedestrians can spot heavy equipment from a distance and react accordingly. But why yellow specifically and not red or neon green? This is where human perception comes into play. Studies in color theory and psychology have shown that yellow is not only highly visible, but it's also one of the first colors we notice in our peripheral vision. It's attention grabbing without being overly alarming like red, which is often associated with danger or emergency. Yellow strikes a perfect balance. It says be aware without shouting panic. That makes it ideal for environments that are inherently risky, but need to maintain operational flow without overwhelming the people working there. Now, let's rewind a bit and look at the historical context. The trend of painting construction machinery, yellow didn't happen overnight. It can largely be traced back to one company, Caterpillar. In the 1930s, Caterpillar made a strategic branding move to paint its equipment in a color called Highway Yellow. Before that, equipment came in a variety of colors, gray, red, black, but none of them stood out in a meaningful way. When Caterpillar switched to yellow, it was initially for brand recognition, but they quickly realized the added benefit. Workers could see their machines from far away, which helped reduce accidents. Other manufacturers took notice, and as yellow became associated with durability, reliability, and safety, the entire industry began to follow suit. Interestingly, in 1979, Caterpillar slightly altered its signature shade to what it now calls Caterpillar Yellow, a richer and more muted yellow tone that still retains the high visibility factor, but aligns more closely with their brand. This color, and others like it, eventually became the unofficial industry standard. Today, whether it's a Komatsu, JCB, Volvo, or John Deere machine, chances are it's going to be yellow, or at least a variation of it. There's also a psychological angle at play. In color psychology, yellow is often linked to energy, action, and alertness. It's a color that wakes you up, and that's exactly the kind of mental state you want people to be in when they're operating or working near massive, powerful machines. In fact, that's one reason school buses are also painted yellow. It ensures maximum visibility and demands attention on the road. Construction companies adopted similar thinking, applying it to heavy machinery that, in many ways, 
poses even greater risks if not seen or acknowledged in time. Then there's the legal and regulatory factor. In some regions, occupational safety agencies and transportation authorities have color-coded guidelines for industrial equipment. While yellow isn't always a strict requirement, it's highly recommended in many safety protocols. It simplifies inspections, enhances workplace compliance, and makes it easier for site supervisors to monitor activity. Think of it as wearing a high-visibility vest, but for machines. Another important aspect is maintenance. Believe it or not, yellow also helps when it comes to keeping the machinery in good working order. On a yellow surface, oil leaks, hydraulic fluid spills, or cracks in the frame are easier to spot than they would be on a darker colored machine. Early detection of these issues can prevent breakdowns, reduce repair costs, and most importantly, avoid dangerous malfunctions on the job site. Of course, not all construction machinery is yellow. You may occasionally see equipment painted red, orange, or even green, particularly in agricultural or specialized industries. Some companies, especially those with strong branding identities, choose colors that reflect their corporate style. But yellow remains the dominant standard, and for good reason. It's a color that has proven to deliver practical benefits in terms of safety, visibility, and usability. In short, it works. In the end, the color of construction equipment is a fascinating blend of form and function. It's not just about aesthetics or branding. It's about creating a work environment where safety is enhanced, awareness is heightened, and accidents are minimized. The next time you pass a construction site and see a row of yellow machines at work, remember, they're painted that way not just to look uniform or iconic, but because that color choice saves lives, improves productivity, and reflects nearly a century of engineering evolution and human factors research. So the next time someone asks, why is all construction equipment yellow? You'll have a much better answer than just because. It's a choice backed by science, safety, history, and even a bit of psychology. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.